Hey guys! Uh, today we're working on some character sheets. Uh, this video is a little later out than I had hoped for because, you know, it's very different from what I've been doing so far. I've just done pro pro sorry, <laughs> Procreate Speed Paints, um, take, uh, filmed, recorded by the app itself. Uh, but today I thought I'd screen record my iPad. It took a long time. Um, well, I worked on it and it took a lot more work than I was expecting, to be honest. Um, but I hope being able to see what tools I'm using and um, I suppose the actual process in more like real time. I mean, it's still very much sped up, but in terms of like how long, I guess, the pauses take? I don't know. You see, I, I feel like these speed paints are always more uh, exciting to watch and I hope it makes for more engaging viewing. Definitely feel free to make suggestions um, such as like if the video is too sped up, if it's too distracting, if you prefer the Procreate speed paints, feel free to tell me it all below because um, I'm definitely still listening. Oh my god, hold on my cat's here. Of course she said straight on the prints I bought on uh, the convention over the weekend. <sighs> cats. I'm kidding. I absolutely adore her and all cats. She's everything to me. But if you hear noise in the background, um, it's either my lunch being ready or the cat doing something weird. The second one's more likely to be honest. <laughs> anyway, continuing on. Um, yeah, so if the speed, if the video is a bit uncomfortable to watch because it's like too fast, I am definitely uh, listening to suggestions because I uh, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> um, also what's a bit different is I tried to do an actual background um, for the video. I hope it's not too distracting because it took me a long time to figure it out and it's still very basic. Um, <laughs> but at least it's there, it's something. I'm, I'm happy with that. It took me way too long how to to figure out how to put this together without crashing my laptop. It's fine. Anyway, who are these characters? Um, the one I'm drawing currently, this is Robbie. He is a character. <laughs> and the other one is Eliza. Uh, these two are characters for a comic I'm hoping to create. Sorry, hoping to be creating this year. Um, I've been planning a short comic for years based off a short story I worked for class in year 9. Um, I've been planning it as a comic since 2018, but I keep putting it off because, you know, ADHD means I get distracted by everything. Um, okay, that's not true. Usually I'll be like, oh, I'll just finish this and then I can dedicate all my time to it, but then I have something else to do or there's another project and yeah, it. Uh, if I keep going that way, it's never going to happen. So, yeah. Um, it's supposed to be a dumb skit of a comic, you know, it's not supposed to be anything meaningful, it's literally just for practice, um, and because I've seen so much advice for it, if you want to get into creating comics, do something really small to start with, to like, figure out if you like it first of all, and to make sure, um, you know, you can actually complete something, to get the handle of it, I guess. So I've been planning to do this one as my first comic for such a long time, but because it sets up me wanting to work on so many others, it becomes one of those big things that you end up putting off. You know how it is. I have done one really short comic before um, for the Skullduggery Pleasant challenge that was happening around when Seasons of War came out. Um, in case you don't know, Skullduggery Pleasant is a uh, book series. Um, I've loved it since I was 11. It's a big part of my life. Um, and they had an art challenge um, that you could participate in. And I was all over that. Um, but it's been a couple of years since then. But I made a short comic for one of the challenges. And I didn't... I think we had a week to do it. So I didn't end up quite finishing. But I still posted it. Um, I'll put some of the pages up here. Um, but it's not as finished as I would have liked, but while working on it, I loved working on it so much. Um, so I definitely think there's a lot of potential for me to enjoy comic creating. Especially as like, there are so many options uh, to have an art career, and a lot of them require very different 
or kind of similar um, work ethics, I suppose. Animation is a very difficult industry um, and a very repetitive process. And I, it's something I'm interested in, but I still think it wouldn't be the best option for me. Um, I thought comics would also give me the same trouble um, in terms of it being repetitive and if it would continue to engage my mind so that I found it wouldn't burn me out too quickly. Um, and just from that short one, it didn't burn me out, so I was very pleased. I'm not so naive to think that I would never get burnout out from working on comics, but I, I was incredibly worried that even for something that was only four pages that I wouldn't enjoy the process like much at all. And I think having to do so many different drawings um, actually made it more engaging than illustration, which is such a relief. I don't know. I'm, I'm very excited to work on another one. It's been, again, two years, so I hope... Uh, working on this comic will prove just as fun and just as exciting. I'm currently doing the flats. I'll mention it now, but it's not um, happened yet. But um, at some point I skip a little bit of the content because I end up re-doing uh, Eliza's skin tone because this one just wasn't right. So I went over it and I do the same thing for Robbie at some point. Um, by skipping his original coloring and going over it um, just in the video because I thought it would be a bit too boring to just watch me do the same thing again. <laughs> um, flats are already boring enough to watch I think but yeah. Um, I designed these characters a really long time ago. Uh, well yeah around 2018 I guess it's not that long ago but 2018 I decided to turn this into a comic. Um, and that's when I really started, you know, using my sketchbook and wanting to do stuff. I was taking art seriously. I'd already been working to improve, but at this point I'm like, do I want art to be my career? And so I started drawing these two because I was like, I'll probably turn these two into a comic. Um, and now that's definitely going to happen. Um, so yeah, I designed these characters. Eliza was very easy, came to mind straight away, um, which is why her design's so simple. I drew it very early on in my, you know, designing uh, career. <laughs> no, uh, like before I learned as much about designing as I have, which isn't a lot, but it's more than I had then. Um, and her design hasn't really changed much because when I drew her for the first time, I'm like, oh yeah, that's her. That's who she is. And I kind of still like it. So yeah, I've drawn Eliza many a times over the years. Robbie, not as much. I tend to, if you haven't noticed, draw a lot more women than I do men. Um, which is something I've changed, I suppose, but um, not much. I'm better at drawing men than I used to be, but I find most of my male characters tend to look very feminine. Um, but usually I'm not very motivated to draw male characters. I just don't. It doesn't come to mind as quickly, I suppose. I don't know. But Robbie, I have designed him, like, before, around 2018 as well. Um, during that, you know, gotta improve, gotta become better than anything. Every time I draw something, I have to find a way to improve it. Very fun, very good way of approaching art at first, but it's not as, uh, I don't do that as much anymore. But um, Robbie is also very basic. His color scheme was very hard because his design has only ever been sketches before. So figuring out how to make his colors work to look bland enough to suit his role, but not be so bland that he's like invisible <laughs> was a bit hard. I'm not quite sure if I achieved it, but he's, again, this is my first comic. I'm not gonna spend a million years trying to fix it um because i already have spent a million years trying to fix it for sure over the years eliza's design has changed like by tiny bits robbie's by i guess also tiny tiny little bits um i tend to go back and forth on stuff changes uh but they're definitely littered throughout my sketchbooks um i'm planning to do a sketchbook tour uh for my next video if all goes well 
uh, I finally got my hands on a tripod that is tall enough to film with my phone. So not only sketchbook tours, but hopefully one day traditional art. Maybe. <laughs> um, I hope. Because I tend to do a lot of sketching and that could be a lot of fun. But yeah, so sketchbook tour, hopefully for my next video. Eliza won't be in that one, but I want to turn it into a little series because I am currently working on my night sketchbook, I think. This one is taking the longest. Um, it's got a lot of content, <laughs> I think. But yeah, so uh, when, by the time I get a few videos into that series, um, you'll probably start seeing these two a lot. There are definitely some other characters to talk about in the first sketchbook tour, <laughs> uh, which will be my first sketchbook that I've done. I'm gonna go right from the beginning, <laughs> which will hopefully give me enough time to finish the one I'm currently working on, because it's taken me over a year. For context, that usually take me three months. I'm very upset about it. I think I mentioned before that uh, I have a lot of stories I want to create. Um, being an author was my dream from like age eight. It's something that I really wanted to do. And even when I got into art, I always thought art was going to be like a secondary thing to my writing. Um, but in high school, I started to really struggle with writing. Um, after I had a great room of Wattpad, <laughs> I uh, wrote original stories in Wattpad for about a year, I would say. Um, I was posting every week. I had multiple stories on the go at once, um, but I never finished any. Uh, big surprise. <laughs> I always wanted to go back and finish them, but I never did. Um, but I feel like my Wattpad days were kind of excellent. I'm not saying the stories were, no. But I would like sit down and be like, I want to write a story about vampires. And I would come up with a story and just start straight away and post every week for a story about vampires. And I wish that was a random example. One of them really was about vampires, I'm sorry. <laughs> and that is one of the ones that I want to turn into a comic, um, which is what I was getting to. I had a lot of ideas in my Wattpad days and while the stories certainly weren't great, some of the characters had some cool ideas behind them and I definitely want to turn them into comics um, with a very different story to what they used to be. Um, and I still think very different characters from what they used to be, but it was easy to forget how much these characters meant to me because again, it was such a quick phase. I guess one year isn't that quick, but you know, and I've put a lot of work into it, but it's easy to forget how big it was for a short while, <laughs> especially in high school. And you know, you're suddenly at the end and you're like, what happened? It's like the whole school experience was a fever dream. Um, yeah, I wish that was exaggerated. Um, but some of these characters uh, from these stories are gonna be in the first sketchbook tour. So can you tell I'm plugging it? I'm plugging it before I've even done it. Uh, hopefully it is my next video. <laughs> I feel like a lot of writers or creators have like one story or one thing that's like their magnum opus, if that's the right word to use. I don't, I didn't double check. I just, it feels right. Um, like their grand story that they want to tell, but it's never going to be the time because you have to put the work in. You're not perfect enough to write it yet because it's your perfect story. I'm not going to lie, mine isn't even a story yet. I've had favorite characters and daydreams and plots that come around and I'm like, oh, that's gone for that one. Um, but I'll never know what it'll end up being, to be honest, because there are so many characters that I've come up with and loved that I want to be in that story. But that story is nowhere near, like, ready. It's not necessarily happening yet because I've never put in the time to figure it out because I always want to have other stories to tell so that I can get the practice in I suppose which I guess is what this is. Even the other stories that I'm turning into comics they were preparation so I could work up my writing skills to do the best story I could to do it justice. <laughs> um, and I, I think I'll stick by that because I feel like working on different stories keeps the creative mind open. So even when you reach a block with whatever you're currently working on, you have a lot of ideas running around that you can use for 
a different one or the creative energy I guess you could say um yeah so I don't know it's been good I'm not sure if I'll ever get to writing that story but I do know I have a lot of <laughs> comics I want to do and so little time anyway that's not rambling about everything else uh moving back to these two um i feel like there's not really much to say about these two to be honest because like i said before this is going to be a really short comic like a maximum three like chapters or episodes um i'm pretty certain uh because i wanted something incredibly short that wouldn't take me more than a year um because i don't want to underestimate how long it'll take to create and because it's so short i want to create the whole comic before i post it um which means it's going to be a lot of work to do before it will come back to me, if it ever will. But that's fine. Um, but also, again, because it's so short, they're very surface level characters. And because it's supposed to be a bit of a dumb skit of a comic, um, there's not really a plot or... Well, there's a plot, but it's not grand or anything. It's like really stupid. And these characters are very much bare bones. I guess you could say Eliza's fiery and cocky, um, a bit reckless in some ways you could say, and that's that's her. <laughs> um, and Robbie kind of barely has a personality, basically just tired and frustrated, you know, the best combo. Uh, but the comic is actually written, uh, luckily, I've done a couple of scripts before. Um, pretty much last time I decided this is the year because 2020 I swore was going to be the year that I did this um, and as you can see it wasn't but I have a character sheet for Eliza from 2020 and <laughs> looking at it now it's like yeah okay um, and I wrote a script and looking back the script was fine but it kind of really wasn't so rewriting that was a lot of fun um, which I did very recently. Uh, I still need to like edit it a bit more because I had some friends look it over and there's definitely some things I could change <laughs> um, that need changing. But I'm fixing it up. It'll be fine. Um, but technically the majority of that's done. And then I can work on thumbnails for the whole comic um, and, you know, object design, like prop design, I guess you could say. Which I'll probably turn into a video, to be honest. The prop design, not the thumbnails. <laughs> um, but the thumbnails will be in my sketchbook. So if I take long enough to get around to it, I can put that in a video at some point. Probably a sketchbook tour. I don't know. We'll see. I know I do want to get to like the thumbs and like the actual comic itself pretty soon. But I keep doing that thing that I mentioned before, where it's like. But I want to finish this first, I want to get this out of the way so that I can focus on it. You'd really think I'd have learnt by now. But the good thing about YouTube is like, it gives me self post deadlines. I try to post every two weeks. Quite often I'm late. Uh, you wouldn't think I'd give myself deadlines because I never make it to them, but it's fine. Every two weeks is my goal. Um, yeah. And so that means because I have to have something finished in order to post, uh, it means I actually <laughs> try to finish my art faster, which I never really used to. Because I'll be honest, I always take forever to finish art because as soon as I hit a hard bit or like a difficult part of the process, I mean, or um, something's, you know, it's less motivating, I don't care as much, I'm tired, uh, it takes forever to get done. And it's really frustrating because I do it so often that I don't get as much done in the year as I ever used to and I really wish I did. Um, and also because I always try to challenge myself, there's a lot of difficult parts which means I end up pausing all the time. So these deadlines help because I'm trying to stop doing that, you know, and just push through and get through it. Um, it probably also helps that I'm actually on ADHD medication now, so instead of like crashing at around one or two. Um, I can actually last longer in the day. Um, my attention uh, doesn't immediately die off um, in the early afternoon. So it's been pretty good because it means I can get more stuff done in the day. Even if it's not necessarily creative work, it means I'm less distracted 
um, buy a lot of things because I have more time to get stuff done, even if it's just small things that would usually distract me. I don't know, it's been really good. Currently I'm thinking of posting this comic when it's done to like Webtoon or Tarpa's. Um, probably to Instagram too, to be honest, if I can figure out how to do that in a way that's actually going to work. Um, because if I press the Tarpa's, Tarpa's, God, I have no idea how to pronounce that. I feel like it's so easy, but I just never get it right. Um, but yeah, if I do post there, I'll want like, uh, traditionally formatted comic pages to post there rather than the webtoon style. So I'll probably design them in the normal page format and then adapt it for webtoon, even though I'm more likely to post it to webtoon than anywhere else because that's where I read most of my webcomics. Um, also, if you're curious, my favourite webcomics, mostly in webtoon, are uh, Shiloh, uh, Muted by Miranda Munt, uh, and, well, who hasn't read and loved Laura Olympus? Um, yeah, so, just in case you're curious, please let me know your favourite webcomics. I would love to know, and I'm always taking recommendations, even though I'm reading over 50 at once. Help! I, I really do need help. <laughs> Um, and that's not even, like, I've got a whole list of, um, is it subscribing? I don't know what they call it on top of But I'm subscribed or following so many comics on there. It's just I haven't read them yet. I'm planning to. Soon. <laughs> I don't know when. Uh, anyway. I'm like this with everything. Um, like content, I'll have like list of shows, list of books. It's like, yeah, I'll get to them one day. Not anytime soon, but um, that's especially bad with books because I'll hoard books because uh, I know I'll enjoy them one day. Uh, so I have a lot. <laughs> I do read quite often, but I'm in a reading slump at the moment and I like feel really bad. Reading is like my other major hobby. Um, so it's very frustrating because my biggest hobbies that I always come back to are art and reading. And quite often I'll switch between an art slump and a reading slump. So when I'm doing well with art, I'm not reading. And if I'm doing well with reading, I'm not doing art. And it's awful. I just want to be able to do both. I really wish it wasn't that hard. And I have so many books on my shelves that I'm so excited to get to because again, I like having content to look forward to and so I don't end up losing it, I tend to stock them somewhere. So on Webtoon it's like by subscribing and you know, I do the same thing with collecting books. And there are so many, so many that I want to get to and um, going through a slump where it's like I've read one book in a month, it's very frustrating because it suddenly feels like I'm never going to get to any of them. <sighs> and I'm reading Rise of Kiyoshi. Like Kiyoshi from Avatar The Last Airbender, and I'm loving it, so it makes no sense. Like, I, I really just want to be able to binge it because I adore how the book is going, it's so good. Anyway, moving along. Um, well, the designs are rather simple, I suppose I can talk a little bit more about it, um, if you can't tell. I'm running out of stuff to talk about. I severely underestimated how long half an hour is. <laughs> I wanted the speed paint to be shorter. Um, but I wasn't sure how much I could speed it up without the watchability, I suppose, being a mess. So I think next time I will work a bit more on that. But this is already late by quite a while, so uh, next time's issue. Anyway, like I said about the designs, um, they kind of just came to me with Eliza. She was instantly on the brain. Um, and like I said before, because it was very early on with my... Uh, designing, you could say. I hadn't designed a lot of characters yet. I had had fandom OCs, um, but they were very uh, similar in what they looked like. Um, and I always just gave them the same pretty dress, to be honest. But now I know how to do multiple pretty dresses, so you could say my designing skills have improved. Um, that said, neither of these two are wearing a dress, so that's kind of irrelevant. Uh, yeah, so at this point I really liked um, Converse, high tops, whatever you want to call them, um, lace ups, I don't know. Uh, so I gave kind of gave them both the same shoes because I'm not going to lie, it's kind of all I know how to draw. <laughs> 
that's something I'll improve on when it becomes relevant, but as for now, yeah, it's not too necessary. Um, but yeah, so Eliza, I was like, oh, you know what? Jeans, jacket, loose hair, because I wanted, because I knew it was going to be such a simple design, I didn't want to make it anything complex. I wanted her to be my go-to type of uh, character that I draw. Like, you know when you just want to sketch for the day and you don't want to put in any effort, so you go to, like, you go to type of um, character to sketch? I didn't do a lot of fan art back then, so it was usually just a random girl that I would design on the spot, which led to a lot of very repetitive, very simple um, designs, which is why Eliza looks the way she does, because she was literally just one of those. Except I knew that I wanted her for this comic. Um, so I guess it was a bit different, but yeah, I wanted her to be, like I said before, she's a bit fiery, so I kind of just gave her a jacket and hopes that conveyed what I wanted her to be like. <laughs> um, I gave her a very simple face structure, very simple hair, like I was genuinely just going for the easiest character for me to draw. Robbie on the other hand, like I said before, I don't draw a lot of men, so I kind of just went with what would suit him, like baggy clothes and things that are kind of faded and muted. Um, I did give him a bit flashier colours because um, I want to be able to do like more of a muted background. I need him to still stand out. They're not like flashy, it's just they're not very muted in comparison um, to truly. Uh, you know what I'm saying. Anyway. Um, I gave him quite a few tries when I was first designing him. I had a two page spread uh, where I was just like, how? <laughs> jacket. <laughs> Trying to figure out how to draw a hoodie that looked okay. Um, and yet here, I honestly didn't try very hard. I'm just realizing now I never drew zips. I don't think I intended to, but I kind of realized I probably could have. That would have been nice. But if I don't draw zips here, I don't have to in the comic. So I guess there's that. So. Yeah, it, don't expect sips in the comic. <laughs> um, yeah, so I suppose you could say uh, these two characters are pretty much anything that I found easy to draw because I didn't want it to be too much of a challenge or too overwhelming. Um, when I've designed other characters that I'll be using for the comics, like I've already redesigned quite a few of my characters um, from the past. I've definitely made the designs a little bit more complex. Um, not too bad. I still struggle with designing because I struggle with building on detail and I struggle with paying a lot of attention. <laughs> um, so I tend to go for really simple things um, or simple outfit elements that I can try and add details to later but I never really do. Um, I definitely have some designs I'm really proud of, like if you saw my uh, first video of 2022 with a new profile picture, that's my original character Arquin, and she is a design I'm incredibly, proud, incredibly proud of, but it's not exactly complex if you know what I mean. I still don't know how to do something incredibly detailed, which is something I really want to do because I see so many people's D&D characters with just so many elements in their outfit and I'm like god I want to be able to do that that looks amazing or like patterns on the clothes or even like ball gowns and things like I my biggest inspirations for like designing as a kid like my original characters and stuff I always wanted to be able to draw characters that kind of had similar outfits so like Winx Club where they have the most beautiful transformations and most of the time really lovely ball gowns and um, Barbie, I always loved their outfits and that sort of thing. Even Monster High, <laughs> I absolutely love what they wear. Um, Monster High and Bratz are probably the reasons why I've got a character that dresses exclusively in 2000s fashion. Right before 2000s fashion became fashionable again, I'm genuinely upset because I'm like, oh, she's supposed to look out of time, but now she's going to look like she's from the 20s. 2020s. Dang it. Um, which is fine, it's just... Um, but I do enjoy 2000s fashion. Uh, looking at it, I don't think I'd enjoy wearing it. It looks incredibly uncomfortable. Very similar to the 90s, uh, seemingly. 
I didn't live through the 90s, so I wouldn't know. <laughs> um, but when I think 2000s, I think Bratz. That's that's the 2000s to me. Bratz and um, the Cinderella story movies. That's probably not a good representation of my era, but definitely a representation of my childhood, I suppose. But yeah, I kind of diverged from design talk there, but <laughs> there you go. There's some insight to my brain process all over the place lovely but finally this video is complete so here's the final thing after I add the eye dots and here compared to the old thing I hope you have a lovely day a happy week and an excellent month and I'll see you next time bye